Hey guys, welcome to another video here. We're doing another uh, Amonkhet draft here. Um, the last one, uh, I did the first part, and then the second part, I kind of only drew... I, I got very unlucky, and the game's very un uninteresting. Like, literally, like, I, I got three straight lo or two straight losses uh, in, like, eight minutes, and uh, so I... I <laughs> you guys don't want to see that. I don't want to rewatch that. Um, so, uh, not doing a second part for the red green uh, Glorybringer video, <laughs> unfortunately. Can't believe that deck went two and three. But, anyways, um, still really, really enjoying uh, Amonkhet Remastered. It's still a ton of fun to play with these old cards and also just get, you know, add them back to your collection and play them in Historic again. So, really, really digging that. Um, so, going to do another one here. And, uh, yeah, going to try and <laughs> not open Glorybringer, not draft around it. Um, so yeah, uh, again guys, if you enjoy this content uh, and want to see more drafts, uh, please leave a like and comment down below. Uh, also guys, you know, can be posted on, uh, you know, what you guys are doing with Amonkhet, what kind of decks you're playing in Historic, uh, what awesome rares have you been drafting with, um, you know, and how have you guys been climbing. I'm up to, you know, silver now with, the, with our past few decks, which is uh, nice, uh, trying to get into gold. Um, I think it's really nice that even these kind of old drafts have ranked too, so that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so here we have some. Uh, we're not taking Temet here, uh, but uh, we do have some good uncommons and commons here. So uh, mainly compulsory rest is a really good one, and Cartouche of Strength. Um, I lean more towards Cartouche of Strength, just because it actually kills the creature, whereas Compulsory Arrest doesn't, and, you know, can, can gain them life and all that stuff. Essence Scatter is pretty good too, but I think Cartouche of Strength is just, uh, just the, the absolute best, best for us to pick here. Like, like I, I, I wouldn't fault you if you if you pick Compulsory Arrest, but I think the correct place to take Cartouche of Strength, especially since you can play it and just, like, augment your creature's power and it gives Trample, just, just fantastic. Um, alright, here I do love me some mana decks, so I'm down for Naga Vitalist. I would really like this Irrigated Farmland, for because everybody knows I'm a Jeskai player, but I think it's definitely right here to take the Naga Vitalist. Mana, 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 this is very good. Uh, the Thorn Bolich is also fine. I didn't even know this card. Oh no, I do remember this card. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go with Naga Vitalist. Give me some big green dudes that I can smack. That I can smack with. Uh, Alright. Agma Spray here? Our Promise is nice. Uh, but I don't think we have enough deserts for that. Or we're, we're not going to get enough deserts for that. I don't, I don't want to get enough deserts for that. How, how about that? Um, I'm going to just take Magma Spray here. Looks like we're drafting red green again. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to lock into this if we find better cards in other colors, but um, so far I just really think that these, like I think I think these cards are like pr like pretty pretty good for the red green deck. Like I just oh, hooded brawler, supreme will is also pretty good, but I think this is just the best card here. Yeah, I, I like I, I I don't see anything that's better than this, like other than maybe supreme will. And this is like I would draft this if because I also want to play it in historic, but nah, like pathmaker initiate maybe. Who are the Broken Lands? Maybe. But, like, I don't think you can beat Hooded Brawler. Especially since we're already green. Like. Or since we already have car a Cartouche of Strength and a, and a Naga Vitalist. Like, we're already, we already have two two pretty solid green cards. And, like, this just is a, is a really good... Like, I wouldn't call it a... I wouldn't call it a filler card, but it's, like, a deck that most... Like, most green decks are really happy to play this card. Like, very, very happy. Like, imagine, you, you know, you attack and exert this, and then post-combat you Cartouche of Strength this on just, like, and, and kill, you know, a six, a six health creature, like, you can do that on turn four. Like, that's just good. Um, alright, here is a more of a toughie. Um, Sunset Pyramid's fine. Um... But I think I'm leaning more towards Zealot or Beneath the Sands. I think Zealot is shown to be pretty decent. Um, like, I think it's a lot better than I originally thought it was. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's great. 
but I think it's fine. And I think Beneath the Sands is shown to not be great. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get a uh, Zelda God Pharaoh here. Like I'm fine with one in my deck. I don't want multiples, but I'm fine with exactly one. Um wow, this is terrible. Um Bloodless Insider is like the the only card here that like would fit in the deck. Could just take Shallow Grave for like a rare. Um, I don't think I want any of these cards. Like Pollard Phase, Pursue Glory are both absolutely garbage. <laughs> don't want this for like a desert. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Bloodless Insider. That was a really bad pack. Um, okay, this is good. Um, so I don't really want Gifted Ceridon. I think I'd rather take Thresher Lizard. I think one of the things that uh, we struggled with was that the, our, our deck, our deck curve was too high. Like our last red, red green deck was, or the curve was too high, um, with so many four and five, four, five, and seven drops. Um, so I'd rather just keep, uh, you know, everything really, really cheap, um, and also like the Ceradon. I don't even think we, we didn't even run the Ceradon, so it's like it's not even that good. Um, okay. So dispose, we're not cutting. So we could take either Crash Through or Desert of the Fervent. So I think Crash Through is, I'm not at the point where I want to take Crash Through. So I think I'd rather take the Desert here. Like Crash Through is only good if I have prowess creatures or really, really big creatures. Like I already have a way to give Trample and really the only thing that I want to put it on is like Hooded Brawler or Thresher Lizard right now. So yeah, I'm going to take the Desert. I'm going to stick it in the sideboard for now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take the Quarry Hollow here now as a filler creature. Um, brute Strength is fine. Essence Scatter is fine. Essence Scatter kind of makes me think that nobody's in blue, but um, we could always ditch either of these colors and move into blue if, if we find that. Um, Alright, I'm down for the, for the Thorn Mulch. Like, I don't think I want a, 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 a second Bloodlust Insider just yet. I think I'd rather stick to the three drops. Um... And then pick up like another one because like typically you don't want more than one or two of these guys just because you draw them in multiples and they're they're so bad you want like pretty much want to draw one and that's pretty much it <laughs> um I'll, i don't really want pursue glory i'll take it but um let's just take slither blade to hedge here actually i think that's better i think if we end up blue we're more likely to play slither blade than um or Actually, I yeah, scratch that. I'm gonna take the Enigma Drake because if we end up blue red, we're more likely to play the Enigma Drake than, than anything. All right, here I'll take the Nimble Blade Kenra. It's a, it's a filler to drop here. All right, and we end up with Haze of Pollen. Oh, hello, Locust God. Oh, hello. Um, this is a pretty splashable guard in our deck right now, um, and it will just win us the game. So yeah. I'm gonna take it. Um, this is again one of the cases where like, this is what I'm fine splashing because it's in, a, in one of our colors already, and it's not very mana intensive. It's also exp more expensive, and again, it just wins us the game. Um, we're only really missing out on like a Kenra Scrapper or like a Sidewinder Naga, and that's it. So, yeah. Alright, a braid here and puncturing blow are great pickups here. I'm gonna lean towards a braid just because, first of all, it's an uncommon. But second of all, um, it's instant speed um, and can deal with artifacts as well. And hope to wield. Uh, there are some really good cards in here. There's synchronized strike, thorn Molich, and Ronos the stalwart. So we're wheeling something decent from the pack. Um, but yeah, definitely picking up a premium removal card in a braid. This is already looking better. Like this, <laughs> it doesn't even have glory bringer in it. <laughs> I didn't even realize that the token has the locust god in the background. That's kind of cool. Um, all right, so here you can take Chef at Monitor. Chef at Monitor is decent playable and can get us our island for locust god. 
there's no really other card besides like Wall of the Forgotten Pharaohs or like either of these cards or like Evolving Wilds. But I think Chef and Monitor is way better than all of those. Yeah, I, I don't think it's close. Like Ronas's Monument would be cool, but I'm just gonna go with Chef at Monitor. I think if I didn't have the Ronas's Monument, oh sorry, if I didn't have the Locust God, I might go with the Ronas's Monument, just because I really like that card. Um, all right, here I think I want the Kenra Scrapper. Just because it's better than the Hooded Brawler. Well, we already have a Hooded Brawler, but also it's just... It's got Menace. So, yeah. Alright, here... Oh, man, this is tough. So we could take Battlefield Scavenger as a 2-drop, which I kind of like. There's also the Thresher Lizard beneath the, and Beneath the Sands. Beneath the Sands, I'm more inclined to take now because we have the Locust God. But I think we can pick up one later on. And I do want two drops. Alright, am I taking another Thresher Lizard here? I'm not taking any of these. I'm kind of fine with the Ceratops. Now, because we have at least... We are guaranteed to have one Desert. And we kind of have enough three drops already. I kind of want some some more to fill out our curve. So yeah, this is the aim, this is the time where I'll take the gifted ceratops. Ooh. Wow, I think that's perfect. That helps out our mana. Like we're missing out on this guy, but like it's in our colors. Like how 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 could we not? I don't know. Would you guys take? Let me know in the comments below, would you take Nefcrop Entangler or uh, Shelter Thicket here? I think it's definitely the Shelter Thicket. Um, alright. Here, could just take... The Pathmaker Initiate. I don't really like these Kenras. We don't have a ton of spells at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the Pathmaker Initiate. Alright, here's another Scrapper Kenra. I don't want the Sun Scorched Desert. And yeah, just more creatures. Uh, I think I'd rather fill out our fill out our deck and then kind of find better upgrades before I start taking um, taking cards. I think I'm down for Evolving Wilds, since now it like like I didn't want to waste a pick on it before, but now I don't have to, and we already have Locust God. So yeah. Ooh, do I want Synchronized Strike? I think I do with the amount of Exert creatures. Alright, there's a crash through. Hour of Promise. So it could take Hour of Promise. There's Crocodile. But we have Magma Spray and Ritual. Or, or sorry, Oasis Ritualist here. I think Magma Spray is the pick here. Once again, just removal, 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 I think was like one of the things missing from the last deck. But also, um, it's like having cheap, cheaper cards. Like, I already have two of these guys. Like, our promise gets us, you know, our, our desert, but, like, like we don't need that. And, or can get us, sorry, can also get us our island, but, like, I don't want that. Yeah, I'd rather just have Magnus Brain. Alright, um... Here, I think, I'm changing my mind again. Uh, no, actually, Initiate Companion has shown to be good. Um, so I'm down to take that over the Desert of the Fervent. <laughs> Rossiketh. <laughs> um, otherwise I'm missing out on, like, a Kenra Scrapper here, but yeah, I think, I think taking the two-drop here that could synergize with our deck, like the Hooded Brawler and Kenra Scrapper, is better. Shatterstorm? I'm kind of down for Shatterstorm. Uh, just as a rare drafting, like, I'm, I'm missing out on these guys. Uh, yeah, if you're drafting for real, or, like, you already have all these cards, I would probably take the Thresher Lizard here, but, like, I already, look at my three drops, like, there's so many. I'm gonna take the Shadow Storm here. Okay, I'm not taking that, whatever that is. <laughs> uh, I think here I'm taking... What am I taking? Cartouche of Zeal? It's a good aggressive card. 
Um, I don't know if our deck can really make use of it. Full force, but I think it's better than like Blur of Blades. Actually, Blur of Blades might be better. I'm gonna try out Blur of Blades over Cartouche of Zeal. Because like, this can't just be a removal spell uh, for a one toughness creature. Um, and it can also be a combat trick. So yeah, I'm gonna try that out. Um, Alright, we're just taking the 3 3. 3 3 trample in our colors. <laughs> uh, Gus Walker would be nice. I do love me some Gus Walkers. Man, that first deck was so good. Uh, yeah, nothing else missing here. Like, I'm not taking the Sun Squirts Desert. We already have one desert, right? We, ha we have one desert, and then we are potentially wheeling another one. So, like. Um. Well, now I wish I took that, because if I'm taking the second Gilded Ceradon. We're gonna want another desert. I really hope I wheel that second desert. Alright, there's our Nefcrop Entangler. Which is really what I wanted. Because this is a really good 2 drop. Could just be a 3 3. Uh, and having trample is really nice. Doesn't come often with that card, I guess. I guess if you synchronize strike it, like you play, play this on 2, or play this on 2, like play like Hooded Brawler, or like Kenra Scrap on 3, and then you exert both and then synchronize strike. Just is a very aggressive play. Um, all right, Bruce Strength. Bruce Strength is our only card here. I'm gonna put it in the sideboard. I'm not playing it. Ah. All right, here I'll take another Kendra Scrapper. We have a lot of Kendra Scrapper. We have a lot of Menace. Which is kind of good. Uh, I should probably start cutting some stuff. Wow. I'll take more Kendra Scrappers. Uh, I'm gonna probably cut the. Nimble Blade Kenra, because we don't have a lot of spells. Oh, come on, give me the give me the desert. Um, we'll just take Aerial Guide here. Doesn't really matter. Ugh. I don't think we're getting it. Now these gifted Zerodons look really bad. Do I still play it? Ugh, who took a desert? Who took desert of the fervent? I think I still play these. Um, I'm also going to put Evolving Wilds in there. Uh, I'm going to take off Autos just. Because I only want to play one island. That's it. Uh, let me add in my other ones. Because I think it took me down to 15 lands. Yeah. Uh, buh, 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 buh. It's by green to red. Oh, I have way more red. But I do have a lot of green in the early game, right? I have, like, these guys. So I'll keep it like that. It's like, so you have 8, 9, 10 red sources, and then you have 8 green sources. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, Alright, so we got to make some cuts here. I still like the Bloodlust Insider. I think the Pathmaker Initiate, I'm not down for. Um... These guys are all fine. I think I'm gonna cut the quarry hauler because it does stone cold nothing. For each kind of counter on target permanent. I could put like an additional minus one minus one counter on something, but I think yeah, the quarry hauler is just bad. Quarry hauler just doesn't do anything. And I'm gonna cut the Moloch because I don't have a lot of spells. Um I'm gonna cut the Pathmaker Initiate. I guess the Pathmaker Initiate gives the Battlefield Scavenger unblockable, and like the Kenra Scrapper. I think I'm cutting actually the Thresher Lizards. That actually seems fine here. This seems fine. This seems good. So, like, we're always going to be able to find the blue source for our Locust God between Chef at Monitor uh, and Evolving Wilds, right? So, I'm not worried about that. Um, just checking, seeing our creature count as well. Okay, 17 6 is, is awesome. Alright, 23 spell, or 23 spells, 17 land, perfect. Uh, I don't see any problems with this. Yeah, a li uh, the only thing is that we're a little bit heavier on the green side, or the, on the, sorry, on the red side, so I'm worried about like 
having enough green and red sources, but we all have, again, we have single costs in all of our cards. We have no, like, double red card or double green card, so I think it should be fine. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and get into the games here. Ended up with a very interesting uh, red-green deck that's splashing for Locust Blue for uh, Locust God. Okie dokie. So, <laughs> uh, I think this hand is really bad. It does nothing early. This hand is doable. I'm actually gonna bottom the Locust God. Because I just don't want it. Like, I could bottom. Yeah, like, I have the Ceratop. The Ceradon. Or the Desert for the Ceradon. I'm gonna play that, actually. I'm we'll gonna play that and play um, a mountain next for Pathmaker Initiate and then Scrapper Kenra. So now he has to like exert with it if he wants to. Uh, yeah. So that's fine. Wow, that's disgusting. See, that's exactly what I mean. Like, Cartouche on a uh, on that kind of creature is very good. Alright, here's a Scrapper Kenra. Um, next turn, I can either cycle this if I draw a land and play something else, or just play it if I draw, like, a 3-drop. Um, yeah, it depends what I draw. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I drew three drops, so I'm going to play this tapped. And just attack with this, no exerts. And play the Kenra Charioteer. So next turn I can play Gifted Ceradon, and it has it is active because I control a desert. Wow, opponent's putting some serious pressure on us. Um. So I think I'm playing the uh, Gilded Ceratops here. It just comes down to do I attack? I think the answer is no. They play another Cartouche of Zeal. I'm dead. But uh, I need to. I need to start getting in there. Uh, and start trying to put damage on our opponent. Hmm. They desert this, that's gonna be rough. Okay. Wow. That sucks. Does this have trample? No, it doesn't have trample. So I have to block this. I'll go to one. Yeah, I think our opponent just got us. Um, I'm not dead. Oh, I'm also not... I'm extra not dead. Um... Like... Attack... Play this, and like... I don't know, attack? I don't know, man. I don't really have a lot of great plays here. I'm at one. Uh-huh. Cool, I'm dead. I like it. They got me. Their deck was very good. Uh yeah. I I turn turn two exert creature into uh you know a, a cartouche of strength. I, I, and that's showing the, the power of cartouche of strength. Man, I'm just having a rough time. It was also the same, right? It was a red green. It was a red green deck too. It was a mirror, so it wasn't like a matchup thing. Their deck was just better. Uh, all right, this hand's fantastic. Two drop, three drop, and a removal spell. Uh... All right. All right. 
they had to discard the hand size? That's not good for them. Uh, I'm actually just going to play the Initiate Companion, because this allows us to exert... I think our opponent's conceding here. Alright. Sorry, opponent. Yeah, that's dead. Uh, I'm just gonna destroy target artifacts. Like, now there's absolutely nothing they can do. Because I have a creature with menace that can become 4 power. Well, <laughs> these games haven't been interesting either. But, uh... At least they're games. Alrighty, hand here for the next game is pretty decent. Uh, I just need to draw lands here, definitely, but... Um, Alright, well, not a land, but... Uh, could potentially get us lands later. Alright, there's our land, and we can play our Charioteer. I want to pause there so it means they might have some cycling cards. Hmm. Compulsory rest, sure. Alright, play this. Uh, I don't think we have anything in our deck that removes enchantments. We have a braid for artifacts. Also, notably, this still gives our creatures trample, which is kind of funny. Okay, so see if they put any cards in their graveyard off of this. Mostly hoping to draw just an untapped land to play Gilded Seradon. So we are back, we have our lands, okay. Alright, here I'm just going to play Initiate Companion. Sorry about that guys, we had uh, uh, some weird uh, issue with uh, Arita that happened there. Alright, Blinding Mummy, sure. Uh, here I'm gonna actually Magma Spray that. They got like Winds Rebuke, their own creature. Alright. Okay, 
there's Desert of the Fervent. Um, I'm just gonna attack with uh, this guy. And I think I'm just playing the deserts and passing. Uh, yeah. Okay, so cycling that. Okay. So they didn't have a counter spell. I don't think they could have countered anything, but they, they did have this up. Sunscorch Champion's pretty good. Um, don't want to cycle this. Isn't the lo okay, no, that was a different game that the Locust got was on the bottom of our deck. Um, I think I'm actually gonna cycle this. Uh, to like draw a card and get our island. Oh, it puts it onto the battlefield. I didn't even remember that. Um, I totally forgot that. Uh, I think I'm just playing this, right? And passing. Yeah, so I actually shouldn't even have played that Desert of the Fervent. I should have just saved it to cycle. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just playing this and passing. And I'm not sacking the Cherry Tree because, again, uh, it still is giving that passive ability to uh, my other creatures. This is the problem with Compulsory Rests, is that if, if the... or any kind of... Uh... That's insane. Um, what do I do about that? So if I tack and they block just here... Yeah, cr all their horses have been just, Jesus, crazy. I think I need to... Tack with all three of these and like... Yeah, I'm gonna attack with all three. Hope that they make some blocks. Oh, I'm gonna make it so that this can't block. Yeah. I think that's fine. I'm just gonna synchronize strike and pump this and this and the sell it. How about that? And actually, now I'm just gonna uh, untap this and probably just use this to kill them. Let's see. They have to gain life. I guess this allows them to gain life. So if they just use their anointed priests, they have they go up to four, and then I just kill them with zealot. Yes, that was a really good attack from the Seradon. Also, then the Seradon just okay, that's fine. So they go to six, they get a a dude. It's fine. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. So nine. Yeah, so I don't have enough to activate this twice. So I just play the Kenner Scrapper and pass, I think. I could make it so that this can't block. Yeah, but then they have, yeah. So, like, I, I don't really have a good way of doing this. I have to rely on Zealot to, to finish them off, but they just get to use Anointer Priest. This is disgusting. I hate this card. <laughs> I've played against this card so many times in Standard. 
I just remember people using it. It's kind of like, um, what is the card, uh, the, the, the card from, uh, it's like if you would make a token, it's a 4-4 a four, four angel instead or whatever, people think it's good, and like, yeah, this card definitely, like, is messing me up right now, but like, it's really not fun. Yeah, I just hate this card. Okay, that's fine. I can't do anything about that, so... That's disgusting. Oh my god. Cool. And they even get to use, like, a fight effect. Wait, why are you not fighting the Zealot? Do I have a way to get out of this? Uh, well, let's start by cycling this. Locust God? That's not it. <laughs> That's definitely not it. That's the opposite of it. Um, yeah, we're pretty dead. Boy. Great games today. Great games. Really interactive, skill-based gameplay today. <sighs> we can start activating this twice to deal damage, but I'm really worried. Yeah, so now I have to like start making blocks. I think I should, like, do this, and maybe that's it for now, and then just deal them four. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yep, so they go to eight. So I'm gonna sack this, gain two life, activate this. <sighs> How do I win this? Oh my god, they even gain life off the horses. I don't think I can win. Yeah, I think it's impossible for me to win now. So if I make it so that this can't block, they have four blockers. Yeah, cool. Uh, and they attack me with these three, and then I die to the rest. Wow, this is actually stupid. Cool. I hate that card. I hate how like easy it was for them to like just get that win. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Had some rough games, um, but we got a win, right? We have one win under our belt here. Um, I think the deck's good. I think we're just playing against much better decks. Uh, so, uh, anyways, that's going to do it for this video. We'll finish up this definitely in a two-parter. Hopefully, we'll have better luck in that video. Um, but yeah, this is, again, another example of like splashing for a card um, You know that that uh, is easy to splash. Um, and will actually win you the game. Haven't drawn it yet, but um, I haven't played it yet. I mulliganed it away. <laughs> I put it on the bottom of my deck. Um, but yeah. Um, anyways, uh, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, again, if you guys enjoy this content, please leave a like and comment down below. Um, and I will see you guys next time.